I just like that you don't say in real life anymore. <laughs> Dude, no one uh, says in real life, in real life. This next thing is uh, from Mexico, suggested to us by Rodrigo Perez Jr. from Facebook. <laughs> I don't know what they are, bro, but that's fucking weird as hell. Report them and you're gonna get famous on Facebook. <laughs> nah, the fuck is crazy. FBI's gonna come get my phone and shit. Uh, the best thing about this video is the quality. Like, finally, we get a video with actual, like, crisp, clean quality. And uh, judging by the distance and the movement, th these UFOs look actually pretty close to me, anyway. I don't believe this to be like a CG job. Can we come in on this guy right here? On that cowboy? Yeah, dude. Look at that cowboy. Yeah. Good job. Get if you done. see if you see this video, tell me where you got that hat. He's not gonna see this video. <laughs> He might. You don't know who's gonna see this video. You don't have any faith. Our fans probably won't see this video. No, I hope you. I hope you guys are watching. This one's pretty good. I like this one. I guess man, we haven't rated. We haven't rated it so long. I'm gonna rate this one six. Oh, pff, five out of seven. What was the What was the ratings for the other ones? The rest of them are three out of seven, <laughs> except for the uh, Hesedin lights. That's a gets a that gets a six. I guess a question mark uh, right now because I need to do a lot more work for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're tired of rating. The shit. Night Companion says he's a local man and saw them too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, other people are seeing them and they're talking about it. Someone <laughs> suggested it might just be lanterns. Don't they have like these things that they put the the lights in and they they kind of lift them off for like Day of the Dead? Don't yeah, they do because that? like they have the like the little candles and there's like a little globe and I guess it's kind of maybe in the same principles hot air balloons but on a much smaller lighter yeah, scale. Yeah, that's that might be what that is. Yeah. I do like this one. I do like this yeah. one because it's actually look, 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 look this dude's probably got a good ass phone. Mm -hmm. This man. So, so when people are this is a 21st seen, century man yeah. that recorded this. Luis Rodriguez. Yeah, I've seen some people just uh, you know they're like, well, you know, we don't own like a, we don't own like fancy cameras. That's why it's so blurry. Now that's bullshit. You're, you, I mean, if you have like a, a normal like a modern phone at this mm -hmm. point the quality is going to be decent and you can always mm -hmm. tell when those things are so bad quality they're like really bad quality so mm -hmm. they could hide the cgi yeah. what happened to our quality over here man i don't know we got brighter yeah, i think we, we look fine yeah, we, we look, look horrible we look, we look good in any light all right moving on to this weird thing in the skies This is so CG. I don't even, this is this is really, really bad. I don't even know why we're covering it, to be honest. The good thing about it, though, is the multiple angles, like they actually try to take uh, multiple angles of it. Then again, you know, I was just watching Deep Sea Creatures a minute ago and they all look pretty CG to me, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm, yeah, dude, maybe I've just seen so many CG uh, oh, look at things. Look at this good camera just, quality. Look at these Look at these flowers. CG bushes right here. It's amazing. It's so good. The CG is really amazing if you put it in perspective of the whole thing. <laughs> uh, also, there's no reactions. Again, no reactions. Zero! Uh, moving on. This is actually uh, one video compilation where it's a bunch of UFOs in the news. Dude, I don't uh, even care about the UFOs. I just like this one dude. We first learned about these strange sightings when this metro area man, who does not want to be identified, brought us his home video. You're going to see a little burst of fire right there, kind of a thruster. He captured the images on his digital camera from a hilltop in Federal Heights. He says the flying objects appear around noon or 1 p.m. at least a couple of times a week. <laughs> this fucking expert, dude, this expert is why I watch this video. Check him out, man. I would consider myself an expert. Aviation expert Steve Cowell is a former commercial pilot, instructor, and FAA accident prevention counselor. It's very strange. He thought he would have a logical explanation until he watched the video. That is not an airplane. That is not a helicopter. Those are not birds. Um, I can't identify. Oh, uh, they're bugs. They're expert my ass. They're flies. We wanted to verify that the video we saw was legit. So our photojournalist came out here with his camera. And when we slowed down our photographer's video, we saw this flying object. And then CNN had to go out there and did their own investigating, put the camera down, and they only got one bug. Uh, oh yeah, gosh. so it looks like our, uh, our ghost has come back and has fooled CNN, which I guess isn't too hard to do these days. But this is... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a pretty old video, though. Maybe they, maybe CNN's gotten better. You think they're as good as Fox News yet? <laughs> oh, you know what? No, I'd say Fox News sometimes intentionally does stuff to be a little bit, you know, to get to get things wrong. Whereas CNN, they just don't do their fucking research. They're about as bad as we are. You think they are they as bad as the Wall Street Journal? Mm, anyway, I give this one an expert investigation out of seven. All right, let's move on to this. Uh, this is also in the same uh, video. This lady calls some deer on trail cam, but also some lights. 724, deer appear and all is normal. 729, a dim light appears. 735, it gets brighter. 753, a weird shape appears on the camera. The deer are lit up brightly, but how? The cameras are infrared and don't emit light. 756, another sharper light appears. Then it gets much closer, seemingly focused on the deer. It looks like headlights, but well off the ground and there's no road. Then it flies away. Another deer is seen looking at a light that seemingly comes from nowhere. Are the deer after our UFOs? We are they infringing on our right oh to God. bear arms? We gotta kill them deer before they get our UFOs. That's that's ours. You mean the right UFOs before they get our deer? <laughs> that's what you said. That's what I was making fun of because you said that. Boy, you make fun of me. I will rub this Blair's making death sauce on your anus. Uh, oh, speaking of, uh, look forward to that. We're going to be trying Blair's death sauce. Ultra mega death sauce. Mm -hmm. is, is it made with ghost peppers? Is that what we're doing? No, this? it's not made with uh, ghost peppers. It scores about 550,000 on the Scoville heat unit scale. Whew. That's going to be intense. That's Texas hot right there. Was that Texas accent? You're going I don't know what the yeah, fuck accent that was. I thought I had to debunk for this, but I don't because they did just inform me that those don't actually emit light. Uh, that is actually the infrared. And now I'm thinking about it, it does look a little bit like our infrared. I mean, it emits yeah. infrared, I guess. Right. But I still don't know that this couldn't just be a light from another source. There's really no way to tell. But it does look kind of weird. Pretty good. I give it a... Five out of seven. Damn, we're getting we're getting bright up there, man. We're getting yeah. bright. Yeah, it's that same light. They're coming. They're coming for us as well. All right, moving on to our last UFO here. The video shows a black disc-like object floating through the sky while spraying some kind of gas into the atmosphere, which is only visible using infrared cameras. And according to the reports made by the crew of the helicopter that filmed the video. The UFO vanished into the clouds before they could get more info on the object. We actually had a whole video with about this uh, Chilean UFO that was in the sky. AJ did most of the debunk, but I actually forgot to finish editing it. AJ, what was the debunk for this one? And Dude, try it's to keep so it complicated. Yeah, I think that's the reason why I didn't want to work on it because I got kind of bored. <laughs> like the debunk is just it's it's too it's too much to go over. But do people uh, want informative shit? <laughs> Dude, I guess they do. Yeah, I was actually gonna wait for this to be in color. Uh, I, I wouldn't even take Technicolor, but AJ informed me that this actually is in color uh, somewhere. It was recorded from a helicopter. Their camera had three different ways that they recorded it. One was in color. You could. It was kind of hard to see where it was at whenever it was just the regular camera. Mm -hmm. They had whatever this grayscale shit is right here. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see it in different ways. It just shows up the most, like the best on here. And there's a lengthy ass article on some website. Like all the information is in that unfinished video. So it's a very strange. I wish they wouldn't shit all over our American skies. Get that out of here. Don't take our UFOs. Dude, you're stealing your own joke from the video that you didn't finish. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you remembered that that's the joke that we did there. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm so happy you remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it's up with UFOs in Chile or Chile. They're they're everywhere there. If you want to see UFOs, go to Chile. I think it's a nice place too. Isn't Chile supposed to be a nice? Uh... Probably. Anyway, if you're from Chile, tell us in the comments below. All right, and before we get into our patron shoutouts, you may be saying to yourself, "Man, I really love the Boo Review, and I would love to support them, but I don't have the money to give them monthly." We well, you know what you can do. You can look right down in that description. Take that excuse and throw it out the window and click on that link and download an app called Tad. And you know what you can do? You can spend 15 to 30 seconds of your time watching ads on Tad. That's right, you're going out of your way to watch ads, but you can choose the creators you love, like the Pooh Review, and then donate the Tad points and it supports us. Yeah, and I know some people in the comments thought about wanting to support us, but they, you know, it's like, oh, I gotta wait till like, you know, I can or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is actually a great way you can just uh, watch some ads. Uh, you gather up points, and there's a way you can only do like 500 points, I think, in uh, a day. In, in a, a day. day. But yeah, we would we would appreciate it greatly. We're glad you guys are still enjoying, it, and we're glad that we can make your day better. Anyway, let's thank some patrons. 
Austin Smothers. Uh, Imogen Hearts. Hey, who has a pretty awesome Instagram account if you're into makeup and stuff. It's pretty cool. Then we got Bunny with an Axe. Bunny with an Axe. Thank also you. Also one of the mods on our yes. Discord. Bunny with an Axe was supporting us before, but I would just like to shout out that change of the pledge amount to $6.66. Nice. That's nice. Uh, very evil. Very, very yeah, evil. Dracula would approve. Uh, we appreciate you, Bunny. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got uh, Stephen Brown. Thank you. And then Chucky. Chucky, the killer doll, is supporting us. My Too bad God. The Chucky Movies suck. Chucky movies are so good, dude. Nope. What are you talking about? Chucky movies are good. so good. They're so good. They got Brad Dorf in it. He does such an amazing job. I think you mean worm tongue. Okay, after that, we got Christopher Martin Vega. Give it that bloody high claw. You know what I'm saying, Christopher <laughs> Martin Vega. Next up is Iron Giant Gaming. With a name like that, he probably has a channel somewhere. Go support Iron Giant mm -hmm. Gaming. Thank you, Iron Giant Gaming. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got Fantastic. All the way from the UK. Lastly, we have Angel Yarena. Angel Yarena, you're an angel for supporting us. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I really like your email address, Angel. Okay, well, we can't share it, but yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, we can't share it, but you know, you know, Angel. Yeah, you know yeah, your yeah. email address. All right. All right, that's it. Thank you, everybody, for uh, sitting with us while we go over these UFOs. Sorry it couldn't be more entertaining. We don't really know what to say about UFOs. A lot of them, they're, I mean, unless they're obviously I mean, faked, uh, I just don't know what to say about them other than yeah. we don't know how to explain them, and they're probably real, and aliens are coming to destroy us all. And uh, what's, the, what's the end of time's date now? Uh, December 12th. 2012? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> you better hurry. Uh, it's September. And something. go to Mars. It's September 23rd. There's nothing we can do. We're all gonna die. Melancholia! My stomach crowd. Nice. It's because you're so hungry for that scorpion. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> next video, I'm gonna eat a scorpion. It's gonna be pretty, pretty good. And I'm gonna drink Blair's Ultra Mega Death Sauce. And I might try that based on AJ's reaction to it. Uh, thank you guys. We appreciate you. Watch the skies. You never know what you might see. Uh, if you Keep your feet catch, on the ground, eyes in the skies. Yeah, if you catch something, make sure to get your fellow officers on the job to shoot it down because that's what they do. Yep. Uh, if not, you run the red light, you catch that motherfucker. Yep. Uh, what else do you do when you see uh, you Make sure you go to the hardware store so you can buy some chains so you can chain up the being you find inside. Yeah, yeah, you got you to. Don't do let that. it get yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to your local sex store, buy the ball gag so that it can't yell and try to get its friends. I mean, I was going to say sell it to science, but uh, I mean, they'd probably end up doing that anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, look, we got a watch. UFO right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were going to talk about this. Look at this guy. Look at this UFO right here. What is it? What is, I've never actually seen him in Overwatch. They're like at the beginnings of a lot of the levels. Eh, okay. But anyway, unidentified yeah. flying object yeah, right dude, here. It's got this Pocky Mari and then this penis monster with the cock ring on the right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs>